Hi, it's Paul here from Retention Guru. And in this session, I talk about monthly active users. Now I recorded this originally from my website because it's the type of question I was getting emails about and messages on LinkedIn and messages on Facebook all the time. And so what I decided to do was just record some of the answers or record some of the questions and answers and stick them on the website. If you've got any comments or questions about this, please stick them in the comments section below. Alternatively, you can always email me at paul at retentionguru.co.uk. For now, just enjoy the session. A metric that every operator should be able to produce is the number of monthly active users. Now, as far as I'm aware, most of the software systems I've looked at have an ability to produce a report showing how many members have used the club this month and how many members have not been in. But I think it's a useful measure to use. And this is why. If you're gonna calculate your monthly active users, then you're gonna need a number of variables. You're certainly gonna need a member ID. You're certainly gonna need something that indicates whether they visited yes or no at the most basic level. And ideally what you're looking for is a total visit frequency, either per 28 days or every calendar month. Some systems do it every 28 days, some do it every calendar month. And then you're going to need to decide on an observation period, whether that's just going to be one month, three, six, nine or 12. Working on the basis that you might just use a one month observation, you would then create a table that says what proportion of the members come more than three times a week, three times a week, twice a week, once a week, less than once a week, never. And whenever I produce one of these tables, one of the things that I do is I always add the percentages and the total number of people. So I don't disguise it from the staff. I'd rather know that 200 people have not been in than say 5% of our membership have not turned up. So put the numbers in the table and you can put the percentages in. So here's an example of an operator I've been working with. The study period in this case was 21 weeks. Why was it 21 weeks? Well, we could just happen to be 21 weeks since the beginning of the year. And we just decided to go back and say, since January, how many people have been in? And we took a sample of their membership. It's representative, it's about a thousand members. And then we broke it down into visit frequency in this tabular format. And as you can see, working from the top, working down, 89% of the members access the club within the 21 week period. Only 5% use the club more than three times a week. 5% use the club three times per week. 14% use the club twice per week. 32% use the club once per week. 31% use the club less than once per week. And 11% of members did not use the club at all in the 21 week period. Now I've put an orange line in there just to indicate the area of focus where we put in our attention and that's on those people who are coming less than once a week or once per week because we're going to try and shift both of those groups up. We want to move the less than once a week to at least once a week and the once a week to somewhere between one and two times a week. Now the way in which I'd approach this is I wouldn't probably try and get someone who's doing three times a month to come eight times a month. I'd probably try and get them first to come four times a month, then five times a month, then six times a month. And those people who are in the once per week, I'd be looking for them to come from one per week to one and a half per week. Now I know you can't have a half workout, but what I'm thinking here is again, then in a four week period, we go from four to five to six to seven, and we build up to eight times per month. 